Uh, let's see, okay, so I'm about to make my light up menorah sweater. I've already printed out the template and gathered my materials. I've selected a pretty standard sweatshirt. Any old sweatshirt will do for this project, and I do recommend grabbing a piece of cardboard so that you can put it in between the two layers of the sweatshirt when you're gluing so that it doesn't glue itself shut. I was also excited to find some glittery felt and some golden felt at the craft store that'll give my menorah that metallic feel and will just look a little bit more festive, but really any color felt will work for this project. So I'm about to start cutting this template out. I'll just use scissors to do the outside and an X-Acto blade to do these interior cuts. This is a bit of an intricate shape, so take your time with it. It'll be worth it in the end. And then I will trace my template onto the back of the felt. This is shiny side down. I'm just gonna use a ballpoint pen because that worked on this felt, but you might wanna test what works on the felt that you bought. I'm just gonna keep drawing this template on. And now I will cut it out. And if you have one, using a ruler or a straight edge to make these straight cuts is always helpful. The way the LEDs will work is you will place the LED into each individual candle to represent that many days of Hanukkah. So whatever day you wear your sweatshirt, you can have the appropriate amount of lights. So we'll create spots for the LEDs to go using the jumper wires glued to the back of the candle pieces. So I'm going to cut the jumper wires in half and then I'll glue each individual pair to the back of each candle. My felt has glitter on one side, so I think I'll use that facing out since it's pretty. And I'll just take out my hot glue gun to do so. I spaced these out a tiny bit just so that that would give the legs a nice spot to rest in and then they will eventually get pushed right into there like that. And I'll do this eight more times. Okay, great, so my candles are ready. I'm going to take my cardboard and place it inside the sweatshirt so that I can glue the menorah to the sweatshirt without worrying about gluing the front of the sweatshirt to the back of the sweatshirt. I'm using a ruler to put the menorah a few inches below where the armpit seam is and hopefully make it as straight as possible on the sweatshirt. And I will hot glue this to the sweatshirt, but I'm not going to put hot glue on this top lip here so that I can put the candles underneath it later. I think hot glue is so easy that it's good to do for something that's only gonna be worn once or twice. You can see on the main template, I put these little dashed holes. That's where we'll put a hole through the sweatshirt so that we can run those wires through. So I'm just gonna do two holes where each candle will go. I have an awl for this, but if you don't, you could also just use like any old pen to stick a little hole in the sweatshirt, like an old pen. Oh, actually, it's a little bit easier if I poke all the way through my cardboard here. Now I'm holding the cardboard up with my hand inside the sweatshirt, so I'm preventing it from going through both the front and the back of the sweatshirt. So now we'll place the LED wires through each of these holes. I'm going to separate the wires so that I can place one through each of the two holes. And that way we'll have a left and a right coming to each LED and we'll designate the wires on one side to be positive and one side to be negative. But for now, I'm just going to thread them through. Notice that I didn't put glue towards the bottom of the candle and that's to give a little bit of space to let it go through and then we'll tuck the end of this candle underneath the ledge. The only thing I'm worried about right now is making sure that the wires are flat so that 
the one on the left is, stays the one on the left once it goes in through the sweatshirt. So there's one and I'll keep going. And I'm just making sure that the wire on the right goes through the right hole and the wire on the left goes through the left hole so that it sits flat. Okay, yay, looking so fun already. And I'll just tack each candle down a bit with some hot glue so that they stay in place. As I'm doing this, I'm going to keep an eye on the top line of each candle so that they are all even once they're glued down. I'm not putting hot glue on the top, obviously, so that I can stick the LED in, but it is something to watch out for. And I'm just kind of pressing it around the wires as it cools. This is a low temp hot glue gun, so I think that's way better for this project so that you can be touching it a little bit sooner without burning your hands. All right, so now these are all glued down and I'm going to turn it inside out and put the circuit on the inside. <gasps> Look at these wires, ah! <laughs> and now I can follow along on my diagram here. All of the wires on the left side will be pointed up and become the positive side of the circuit and then all of the wires that come out on the right will be pointed down and become the negative side of the circuit. So I'm gonna put a temporary piece of tape across here and then I'm going to strip these wires so that we can connect them to the maker tape. So now I have stripped the ends. I'll add maker tape to each of these wires and then add the maker tape that connects them. I am wrapping each bare wire in maker tape, so right now the adhesive is facing me, and then I'm going to just make a little wire sandwich, and then give it a nice squeeze so that we can connect to other pieces of maker tape easily. Ta-da! Now according to the diagram, I'm just going to connect them all on the top and bottom. The great thing about maker tape is that you can layer it on top of itself, so if you feel like you need to reinforce the connection, you can do that pretty easily. So I'm actually going underneath each of these little connectors, and then I'm going to put another piece of maker tape on top, and that'll ensure a good connection across the board. I'm just going to go down the line and keep connecting each one of these to that rail of maker tape. And then I'm going to do the same along the bottom to connect all of those. Yay! I'm going to run these two pieces of maker tape all the way down to the base of the sweatshirt here so that I can put the battery pack right down here and that way I can easily flip the switch on and off when I'm wearing the garment. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a really, really long run of maker tape down to that base. You could place the battery wherever you want. You could just put it right here and that just means you have to reach your hand inside the shirt to turn it on and off. It's really up to you. Place it where you think is best for your project. all the way down and I'll do the same with the other piece. Of course I have to avoid this guy because I don't want these two to touch at all. I'm gonna go over the others again. Why not give it a better chance at making a great connection? And I'm gonna go around the corner like that and just kind of lay it down. And now I have my battery pack. So I have two batteries in here already. And a lot of these packs might come with some type of a connector. If yours did, just cut it off and have bare wires. We're gonna do the same thing that we did to these wires, to these wires by putting about an inch of maker tape on them and then fold it on top, give it a nice good squeeze so it has a good connection. And do the same thing on the other wire. All right, so we have our two little pads here ready to be taped on. It's off right now, so. <laughs> If they touch, it doesn't matter, but it's a good thing to make sure of that. Now, which one is positive and which one is negative? Well, it actually doesn't matter at this point since we haven't put any LEDs into any of our jumper wires. So I'm going to just go ahead and follow the template. So I think I'm gonna place mine kind of like right here on the seam and make sure that the wires reach and maybe even give them a little bit of slack so that if the sweatshirt stretches a little bit, it doesn't pull and come undone. So I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna do like an X. 
X marks the spot, the connection spot. And you know what? Just for good measure, I'm gonna put an extra one on each of these because the power is important and it just feels right to me. So I'm gonna do it. Oop. There we go. Most coin cell battery holders like this have two little holes in the base part of it. And I like to use that to sew this onto any garments that I use them for. You wanna do that with the door open and go between the two holes instead of around the edge so that you still can close it. But that should allow you to keep the battery pack connected to the garment without hindering your ability to change the battery when you need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that right to my seam here, like that, to keep it in place. So we have a stitch of thread through those two holes here, and then another stitch around the cable so that it doesn't move around too much. Makes it easier to turn it on and off. To prevent a short when I put the sweatshirt on, I'm going to just cover this with some masking tape. Although it is not a very permanent solution, this is not a very permanent garment. I'm not going to wash this in the washing machine, so I think this is just fine as a solution to keep this from not short circuiting while I am putting it on or while I'm wearing it. But here we go. Turn it inside out. For more festive templates, head on over to browndoggadgets.com.